Joyce, how you doing? And welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I saw a video online on my homepage come up from Mamba FX. The title being how I made $250,000 in one day trading Forex. Insane strategy reveal. Now, this is a trader for seven years. Obviously caught my attention and uh, I thought we'd have a watch of it. Let's go. You know, I love more than beating my own record on this. Beating my wife's cheeks. All right, on a serious note, you guys came back for another video. You see I made 250K in one day. You wanna know if it's possible, how you can do the same thing. I'm letting you know right now, you can do the same thing. It's very possible, but it's uh, gonna take time. Like, you're not gonna just make 250,000 fucking dollars tonight and then, you know, go tomorrow and buy a McLaren or something. But you can get there, because you gotta remember something. When it comes to trading Forex, it's the most scalable business possible. You choose how much you make. I mean, you don't choose how much you make, but it is a very scalable business, so yeah, I guess so. You can easily scale a hundred dollar account to a million dollars and not gonna happen overnight so don't just take this and clip it and post it everywhere this guy's fucking crazy da, da, da. no i'm not saying it's gonna happen overnight but you can take a hundred dollars to a million dollars you can slowly compound to 10k then to 20 then to 100k 300k up to a million dollars it's very i mean what he's saying is correct you can technically do that now it'll probably take you until your retirement age to do it from 100 bucks but um you technically can do that yeah i think it's 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 advice that is kind of turned into something that kind of if the average person watching this that doesn't know much about trading will think well i've only got 100 bucks i can turn this into a million dollars in a little bit a little bit of time years years and years and years and years 100 bucks maybe if you're starting with 50k 30k 100k yeah absolutely but 100 bucks if you're considering 10 to 40 percent is the roughly the probably average mean of a of a very good trader yeah it's going to take some time very possible. I've done it. I, I did it. That's why I'm here. Started off with $100, $200. I mean, I didn't start with a million dollars. Um, so, like I said, you can do it. It's very possible. All you really need is some guidance. You need some help, right? So, I got something special for you guys. A lot of you guys already know this, but I have a new app. It's called the... Cl it's not even new anymore, but it's called the Clarity Forex app. It's on the App Store. It's on the Play Store, and it's 100% free. You get free content, free courses, free strategies, free breakdowns, all these... Okay, that's pretty good. Free stuff, fair enough. Um, I, I respect that. I know he's got an additional free signals, but you know, you do you, fair enough, uh, fair play. I'm gonna skip forward here until the actual strategy um, because I wanna see this actual trade first because I presume he's gonna talk about his app. Before we get into the actual breakdown, here is the trade, how much I made, the history tab, all that good stuff. As you can see, 269. Okay, so this is his trade. So this is the trade he's talking about. The NASDAQ 100 is the 200 and 118, 115. So what's that? 235, 235K on the NASDAQ 100. Okay. And this you've got gold buy, gold sell, 1530, 45K there. So that's where he's getting his numbers from. Um, whether it's a real account or a demo account, I'll go into my numbers and what I've done a little bit later. But, um, well, he has, he has technically made that amount of money. Whether it's real or demo, thousand dollars made on the day, but only I think two hundred twenty thousand dollars made on the actual um, Nasdaq markets themselves. So we're gonna really get into the beef and like show you guys the Nasdaq trade. Everything else is pretty much the same strategy, so I don't have to break down every single trade. But this was how I made two hundred fifty k in one single day. Let's get into it, man. Smash that like button, get the Clarity Forex app, and let's do it. Let's break that down. But before I break that down, I do want to actually show you guys the Clarity Forex app. To show you guys, okay, hey, here we this go. is legit. This is the signals that have been sent out. And here's where we uh, enter. Okay, that see this. Lower. Let's really look at the... So there's his trades. There's his trades. Gold, 100 pips, break even. Um, now, right off the bat, this is interesting, right? Because, look, what dates have we got here? 27th and 27th, right? This is the NASDAQ trade on the 26th, okay? But if we go back to his um, account, okay, I can't see... That gold, this is on the 20th, the 25th gold. Okay, maybe this was earlier than what he posted, 25th, 25th. So he's got 25th of the first here, 26th. That could be when he closes it, to be fair. This could be when he closes it. But I don't see the gold break-even trade in this section. So where's that? Where's our gold break-even trade, my man? Anyway, maybe he's just not showing it. That's fine. With that being said, 29.50, um, 100 pips last night. I can actually show you guys real quick that gold trade from last night. Um, very yeah, nice trade. Gold. As you can see, it was a 100 pip move. Uh, very nice. Very nice. A this is the thing. This is what I don't like, right? We can go into trading view now and I can put this in. No problem, right? No problem. I can do that. Hindsight is a very easy thing. 
So whenever I, I post something and I, and I do a video, okay, you can see all my trades in my um, section here. So I can always go back to say, all right, on GN, the GN trade I took on the 2nd, um, or sorry, the 9th of February, it's American dates, so I'm not used to them, um, or whatever, I come back up, I can see the trades that I've taken here. Here's the CAD yen short, unfortunately that was a loser as well, on the 2nd of February. So there's the kind of proof that these are the trades that I take. When you see something like this, show us when you actually took that trade. Risk ratio 4.36, quantity 108. Is that the pip amount? Anyway, I'm not really sure on this in trading view because I simply don't use it. Let me know in the comments what this actually means and if that actually fits with the trade that we're seeing on this section here. Let me know because I don't see the break even one. I only sent good is a one to five right here. Right here we have it. So this is his previous trade. If he's showing the trades that he, he, he took before, this is a winning trade, I presume, right? So where's your break even one? Where's your break even one, my man? Anyway, like I said, it could be true. Could not be true. This is just my thoughts on watching the video. Hey, uh, what does it say? One, two, four. Because remember, I have to have these thoughts because he's saying he made $250,000 in one day. You gotta be able to back that shit up. There's only good ratios, okay? One to four, and that's pretty much it. That's all you're gonna see is those really good ratios. Anyways, lots of break, a lot, a lot of breakouts. I mean, I, I really do this. I really do this. But let's go ahead and break down the trade. Okay. Let's break down why I took this trade, what I saw, and all that good stuff, okay? Um, it's very simple. It's a very simple setup um, that I take every single time, and I will take it continuously every single time. If you look at our five-minute chart, right, and it's always better to start on a higher time frame, so we'll actually do that real quick just to show you what I saw. That's true. Higher time frame confluence. I'm massive on that. So fair play. Yep. Oh, but we're looking at the daily. Where are we on the daily? We have a nice rejection, right? A big, big rejection candle on the daily in what zone? Well, I like to call this a little bit of a clutter zone. This is a zone where price is actually having, you know, resistance. Actually, you know, this is supply. We have supply here. Okay. Right here. More supply. So this is actually more of a supply zone, which had now kind of turned into a little bit of a demand zone slash support resistance different ways to look at it. I talk about it more on the actual Clarity Forex app, but um, look at this. Look at the perfect zone. It rejected this area. Okay, so yeah, I, I mean, I agree with that. That's a very stereotypical hammer bar, right? It is a rejection candle, but what we're seeing within that candle, right, is some movement to the downside. Now, I guess where he's taking it, if he's saying he's taking it on this candle, buying it from here, Okay, I understand that, but if he's buying it the day after, then there was no rejection there just yet. So I don't actually know which day it's on. So if it's here, you're kind of lost to be a little bit worried that sometimes with these hammer bars, yeah, okay, you get some retracement in between them, maybe around that 40, 60 box fib level, or 38.2, 61.8, and then you move up. But with this, you're not really getting it. So if he's taking the trade there, personally, I'd be a little bit worried. Certainly if you get a break below the wick, I know we didn't have that here, but I'd be a bit worried about the strength of this impulse to the downside after this candle. So if we go down to our H4 and we look for more confluence, well, guess what, guys? Look what we have. We have support. This is a support zone. We created support here. It's pretty simple, guys. Price has created support. When price yeah, but I think this is more, and again, I don't want to come off as a hater here, but I think this is more reactionary support. You know, this is where the daily candle is formed. So we've obviously taken it after that daily, but look what's happened after price action there, creating what I would call probably a view reversal in line with that longer time frame trend. So this will be a counter trend trade for me. I would rather be looking at breakout short, even though that daily is probably a bit too extended for me, so I probably wouldn't be, but your path of least resistance is to the downside rather than up. But maybe he's a counter trend trader. This creates support. A lot of the times we reject it and we move up. So when you have more confluences, you're not just looking for support by itself. So now that we've seen the H4, we've seen the daily, we know that we think we're looking for buys now and we have confidence to look for buys on a smaller time frame. All I did was go down to my five minute chart and guess what I found? I talk about this every single day in the Clarity Forex app. It's a breakout pattern. And for me, I don't like to trade the breakouts necessarily, but the pre breakouts. I like to get it. I, I understand that reasoning, a pre breakout. I, I'm kind of developing something myself, uh, what I'm calling the aggressive strategy. I'm purely a breakout trader, but what he needs to kind of tell me here is what is he actually looking for? It's a pre-breakout, but how is it a pre-breakout? Is it these particular candles here? You know, for me, on this five-minute chart, we're on a downward direction, so it is counter trend. We're making higher lows in terms of Dow theory. That says movement to the downside. I don't see any reason to buy this, particularly just yet. Moving averages above price action, dynamic support or dynamic resistance, sorry, to price. I don't see a reason to buy it just yet. Maybe on that extension on the daily, possible fake out to the downside because it is extended and then movement back up. I just don't see the reasoning just yet, but maybe he's about to explain. Then there before it breaks out when I know it's going to break out so I can get as much. Nobody knows it's going to break out. <laughs> Anybody tells you they know what's going to happen in the future is, a, is 
not speaking the truth, right? Nobody knows what's going to happen. Us as traders, I've been doing this a long time. We use our data. We're at the casino. We're not the uh, gambler. We, um, we replicate that data over a long period of time to get our edge in the markets. Nobody knows what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen as soon as I place a trade. I just place my faith in the data that I've collected through past results and backtesting. For example, in this trade, if I would have taken the actual breakout, we would have actually taken this buy until right here, right? And that's the difference of a lot, right? If I would have taken a buy right here on this breakout candle, I would have missed potentially 1,200 pips. Imagine missing 1,200 pips because you didn't pre-breakout trade, okay? It's a big deal. So with that being said, not only do we have a beautiful breakout pattern, right? And a breakout pattern is very simple. It's just the tops or the bottoms of a trend. If we're going down, we're looking at the tops. We're looking for price to break out of this trend, okay? Overall, price is coming down, but we're at that support, as I said on the H4 the daily, so we can kind of predict that price is going to break out of this trend. Okay, so by that reasoning, if he's just looking for breaks of structure to the upside, or maybe he's looking for a break of this downward trend line, because I'm looking at this area, say, so why aren't you taking it here? You know, maybe why aren't you taking it here? Why aren't you taking it here? But anyway, maybe he's going to explain. It's pretty simple. Now, if you're looking at it the other way, and you want to find sell opportunities, like I said, you draw from the bottom on an uptrend, and then boom, you have that breakout. This is a more accurate trade because overall price is trending down, and then you just have a pause, you have it coming up now, and then breaking out to the downside, okay? Yeah, that makes sense, trend trading. Um, essentially, yeah, I kind of agree with that. It's pretty simple. Pre-breakout trade right here. We see that we are also at a support, right? We have support on the five-minute chart so we can have our stop loss nice and tight right under this zone. Only risked about 30 or 40K, so this is basically like a one to five trade or no, let me see, one to one to 3.6 trade, excuse me. Um, so, you know. Okay, this is where we do some math. So, what did he say there? Six trade, excuse me. 30 or 40K, so this is. 30 or 40K. 3.64, okay? So let's let's do the math on this. So he's saying he's risking 30 or 40K, okay? Remember he said he's made $220,000, okay? 220K. The trade was a one, two, 3.64. Let's just call it, for, for ease of example here, let's call it a one to four, even though it wasn't. Let's call it a one to four. Now, as traders, we probably risk between one to 3%. Okay, one to three percent on our particular trades, which means, and I and I've seen by I, I'm assuming by his app that he's he seems to be trading quite a bit. You know, two trades, three trades a day potentially. I, again, I don't know that's confirmation. Again, I don't know if that's confirmed, but it seems to be the case. Which in which case, if he's trading every day, I, I would expect his risk to be around one percent. We don't want to have it two or three if you're trading every day because that can be a recipe for disaster on these drawdowns. So. Our 1%, our risk unit is 40,000, which means he has got a $4 million trading account. Now, I'm not going to comment on whether he has or not. Again, he could be risking more, he could be risking less, but let's say he's a rough, maybe like a 2 to $4 million trading account, maybe even a bit more if he's doing half percent. Um, maybe, let me know in the comments what you guys think. This is basically like a one to five trade or no, let me see a one to one to three point six trade. Excuse me. Um, so, you know, I risked a certain amount that I was OK with. I was comfortable with. OK, but what is that risk percentage? This is what we need to know. You're saying two hundred fifty thousand. You need to tell us what your risk percentage is to make a really large amount. OK, and that's kind of the way you want to play the game. With that being said, we have support. We have pre breakout. But don't forget it. H4 and daily is also telling us we're going up all these. But they're not. H4 and daily is telling you we're going down. I don't, I still don't understand what this pre breakout is. What is he actually looking for? So if I'm looking for a breakout, I'm looking for my cup with handle, V reversal, head and shoulders, whatever, accumulation, breakout of the zone, give me higher time frame confluence, not too extended, etc. I have certain rules I look for when I'm placing a, a breakout trade. I still don't understand what he's actually looking for. What is getting him into this trade? What is his reason to enter? Different things telling us we're going up is what you want to see. And that's how you can make your strategy perfect is to have confluence. Okay. You want to have confluence. You want to have different things telling you. Yeah, that I agree with. I just certainly have to have confluence. Yeah. You the same thing. I just, I just don't think there's confluence there. I don't see where your confluence is for counter trend trading. Again, personally, as a trend trader, primarily a continuation trader, I don't see where the confluence is. It's counter trend. Different time frames telling you the same thing. Okay. With that being said, we're on that support, right? We have support. We showed the H4 and the daily is going bullish. We have the H4 and the daily is not going bullish. 
you cannot say that it's going bullish if it's on a downtrending environment. It's it's literally a downtrending environment. If it took from that four hour candle, that initial reaction we got off the level, that big candle, then going bullish potentially of a break of an anchor, yeah, I, I would make sense of that, but I just don't see how it's bullish. Pre breakout pattern, we have a lot of things telling us, hey, we're gonna buy. So I took my I buy and I waited it out. Okay, right here, it took another entry on an actual breakout because now you know, hey, we're really breaking out. Okay, and um, you would have made even more money. But with that being said, stop loss, previous high. Previous high on this actual trend line that I've drawn. Previous high is right there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the previous high is here. Actually, the previous high could technically be here. Broken through, no, this is this is your previous high. Because you've broken through the lows here, so technically you could take that as your swing point, or here, or here. I wouldn't consider this the previous high. But okay, from where he's initially drawn his trend line, fine, that's fine. If that's the way he sees the market, okay. Guess what would have happened if you would have um, actually tried to keep holding this to this high? Like, do you want to see what would have happened? My take. It's because it's counter trend. Take profits are better than anybody. Like, nobody has better take profit zones than me. Um, to the T. Almost every single time it comes to the T, hit take profit, and then it goes back the other way. I don't like that. don't like that. Nobody has better take profits. Come on, man. Because I know what I'm doing, and I know that this is actually supply. And when price comes to the supply zone, we may actually see price fill orders and continue back down. Okay, you have to remember that because a lot of people, they will try to hold for too long and they'll get stopped out, break even, and then you're really upset, your psychology's off, and you're messing. That's, I 100% agree with that. I 100% agree with that. Up, all right. Now, with that being said, these are the trades that I'm taking every single day on the Clarity Forex app. This is life. This is what I do. Okay, so he's just said he's taking them every single day. So I would say is assume his risk percentage is one, possibly even half a percent. So we could probably assume his account is a couple of million dollars. If you guys want to get in, which it is, well done. If he's consistent, well done. I just needed to see a little bit more from this video on actually what are you looking for over the kind of long run, you know? So, I don't know. Get on here, get the free content, get the free courses, get the strategy breakdowns, all that free stuff. Download the Clarity Forex app. It's down in the description. If you want the signals, it's an option. It's on there. Get the signals if that's what you want. But you don't got to get the signals. You, you know, I mean, it's that's completely up to you. Will it help you grow fast? Yes, but you don't have to do it. I give you guys free options because I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to really benefit the community and help you guys out 100% for free. With that being said, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys coming back for another video. I know it's been a long time since I've created a video, but I'm trying to come back. I'm um, posting on Clarity Forex every day. If you really want to see me, you want to see my content, it's on there almost every day. Weekly outlook videos, breakdowns, all that good stuff, it's all on there. So go get the Clarity Forex app today. Sorry I keep plugging it, but I really want you guys to know where I'm at because I get comments. Okay, I guess that's the kind of end of the video. So my kind of take on it is if he's right, I'm, I'm not a hater or anything, like fair play to the guy. If he, if he trades consistently that way and his strategy works, I'm never going to be somebody who says, this doesn't work or this can't work. Everything can work. I just didn't agree with the way that I was saying it. Maybe he said it in, the, in, in, a, in a different way that, that he meant. Um, I didn't agree with you're getting confluence there with, with bullish pressure. I don't really see, understand what his actual strategy is and how he got himself into that particular trade. If he was just buying off support, um, possibly off liquidity, if he was buying through, you know, that, that confluence with a daily hammer, potentially. I still don't really understand... Um, what his trade was, you know? So, but 250 grand when, when you're claiming you're making that amount of money and he might as well be, and he might well be. I'm not saying he's not, I'm not saying he is. You, you put in your comments your, your personal opinion. I, um, I just need to see a little bit more to fully kind of say, all right, fair enough. Anyway, just my opinion. Let me know yours down in the comments. I'll see you in another video. Trade safe, peace.